please remind me what the get between the rooms. Was it between the rooms? Do I have that right? Hello everyone, my name is Zam and welcome to Between the Rooms. Yeah, let's just start walking through. So it's an indie game. It's a horror game. Oh my god, my sensitivity is so high. I'm just gonna walk forward and I'm just gonna hold backwards. Well, shit. Gonna make sure I'm on the complete further side I can be. Why did that lag? Is it loading in something? I probably shouldn't turn around because I'm just gonna get lost. Loading in the crap in my pants. <laughs> also, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, I'm streaming right now. That's why I'm saying these random things that are actually from other people's point of view. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Even if there's absolutely no jump scares in this. Oh, it's heaven. It oh, that is. That is. Amazingly terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, tight. Um, Uh, oh my god, I could have gotten a higher res image, holy fuck. <laughs> the fields of pixels. Oh, okay, ba bad ending? Are you fucking kidding me? You bastards gave me the... Why did the music stop all of a sudden? Well, I can go down that other way. There, I know there was one other way. Well, technically there might have actually been more ways to go. I don't know. Walls hold secrets. Don't fear the dark. Okay. What if it means the darkness here? Oh, I've hit a dead end. Okay. This is a dead end. We're walking all the way back. <laughs> Walls hold secrets. Yeah, I'm sure they do. But, I mean, I can't do anything. I keep seeing... God damn, they haven't connected any of these fucking walls together properly. See, the thing is, guys, everyone that's watching, Kevin here is editing this later for YouTube. He's gonna make it all funny and stuff, but he has to sit through all of this as well. Ha ha! I saved myself! <laughs> I've broken the game. I don't understand this part though, that it just shoves you into this. This is so weird. I mean, I've, I've spent 17 minutes on this game now, just trying to figure out what else you can do. Um, I'm just gonna quickly just check. So this dude... See, I've already done this. Oh, what the fuck? What? No. No fucking way. Alright. We're going for this. God. Oh, that's why. Because I went way past it. Okay. That's why I didn't notice it. And then I would have been walking back. And you can't tell on you unless you're actually looking at it. Fair enough. See, it's completely reflective. Yep. The hand went back into it. Yep. They should give some backstory why he hobbling. I don't think he's hobbling. I guess I'm going this way. Okay, good ending, question mark. You successfully escaped after a long walk. You stumble upon a man dressed in a suit. You ask him where are you. He stays silent. You notice blood on his hand and start to back up. Man looks at you with clear fear in his eyes and said, You too, huh? Well, that's interesting. Can I get him back down there? Hey, 
Hey, buddy. Oh, I, ca I can't finish this. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll do an outro then. That was interesting. There's one more ending, apparently. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, very much... <laughs> Uh, hit the like button, check out Kevin because he's just edited through this. This was a 27 minute video when it should have only been like 10-15 minutes. Uh, mainly because I was trying to find this area, uh, which I just missed. Just. But anyway, that was interesting. It was very creepy, especially the, the fact that like just walking down a hallway, the sounds were really good. The darkness as well. Dev, you've done those like those horror elements really well but there's a few other things that you need to work on like the textures the floor textures were a bit too reflective but it, it didn't really matter but it was also like that's a bit weird when you're falling in the first ending at least make a texture that fits um the span of what you're trying to make and the walls should connect up because when I was, when it said the walls, um, lying or something like that, I instantly thought, like, I kept seeing through the walls, and that was actually not a good thing, because they're not connected properly, so you need to go through and make sure you do that, because it can confuse your players. Unless there's a point to it, I'm not sure, but otherwise, Dev, you've done a really good job, especially with that monster, that monster was really decent, and just the horror elements itself were really good, so really well done on that. Yeah, hope you have a great day or night, and I'll see you all another one. Bye-bye.